I use AI every day from creating content to really just asking it like a Google search, but I don't want to be in trouble for plagiarism or anything that ChatGPT uses. So let me show you my process of what I do so that I make sure that I'm putting out quality content that won't get me in trouble. So let's do it and a way to make sure people aren't stealing your content. So this is the uh, YouTube copyright section where you can see how people have uh, really stolen uh, your videos or your content. But how do you do this with AI content or blogs? Maybe you have a blog article in the e-com space that is doing really well and you don't want people siphoning off your traffic. So a good way to do that is to really see uh, who is taking your content. So if we head over to originality, we can see that I have this post here that um, I wrote on my blog. So this is my article that I wrote. It's for a light, no bounce running pack. And it, we have a two left in our store. But as you can see, it is a pretty nice article with pictures and uh, tables and pros and cons, so very, very nicely done. And so I used this, used AI to write this. And so if I take this, I took the first part of it, the no light bounce part, took it up all the way here and put it through originality, AI. And as you can see, it does have a high detection of AI, but we know that that doesn't really matter for the Google, uh, as long as it gives the user a good experience essentially. And so if we look at that, uh, the plagiarism part, you can see that it's been 100% plagiarized. And we can see the matching website, which was my website, the one that I wrote. So you could use this to see if someone has taken your content and uh, you know stole it essentially. Uh, or if I, or say I did write an article and ChatGPT wrote this, and I put it through this and it was on someone else's website, that would be another uh, thing to be mindful of. So I'm going to take the second one, put it through originality.ai, and I'm going to show you guys how that would look. So we take our little article, scan now. I forgot to choose the plagiarism part. So I'll have to rescan this. So let's do a new scan, paste plagiarism. You can add a fact checking, you can add readability, you can do grammar and spelling. So all different options you can add. You can use Turbo, Turbo 3.0, multi-language and standard. I'm just going to use light. Like I said, they, we know it's going to be AI detected, but why not? So let's go ahead and scan this. And again, this should show up on my website and no other website um, under the plagiarism part. But this is the importance of scanning the articles that you do create using AI because you don't want to copy other people's content because that just shows bad on uh, duplicate posts on Google, on Medium, on all these things that you are trying to rank for. So uh, so as we can see, again, 98% on my website, no other website, so that is good in my eyes. And so if we look at the Google machine, we can see there are penalties related to the idea of having some content on other sites. For example, if you're scraping content from other sites and republishing it, or if the republish content without adding any additional value. So that's why it's so important to use tools that check to see if your content is uh, essentially one for one copy paste with no value. And that's why I like to check my articles to make sure they're not on other sites, or at least that my site has been published first so that I can send them an email to the person who, uh, you know, copied my content that I, I use ChatGPT, uh, which copied other people's content, but you know what I mean? Um, that I'm able to make sure that they're not getting penalized or I'm not getting penalized on my website, especially for people in e-commerce or people that are selling different things. They don't want to be, I guess, Google slapped. And so it's really easy to check. Like I said, go take your uh, article or blog or script or whatever you have, go to originality.ai, go down to content screener, uh, new scan and just paste it in here and make sure you have your plagiarism 
check. This is the most important part is making sure that that is checked. You can add a fact checking if you have more of a scholar or article, research paper, blog, uh, super important. Readability, I think that's super important too. And grammar and spelling. So, I mean, grammar and spelling, if you're using ChatGPT, that's going to be already taking accountability. Uh, obviously, the prompting for readability is going to uh, be important too. Fact checking is important because we do, uh, the, the chat GPTs does like to make things up sometimes. So uh, you, depending on what you use, if you use Claude, Claude, that's uh, a little bit different. That seems to be more accurate with the fact checking, especially because it grabs real time data. But like I said, this plagiarism part is the key to all this because you don't want to make sure that, um, uh, other people are taking your content. Originality.ai has a lot of other great features. I only really use it for the plagiarism, but as you can see, it can detect whole articles. Uh, I have it set up as pay as you go. Um, these are all of the different articles. You can scan your website. You can set up a, a team. You can do API access. A lot of great functions. I mean, maybe you are a fact checker website and you want to grab the transcripts of all of the latest debates. You can grab all the transcripts, put it in to originality, go to new scan. Um, that didn't copy. Let's just copy here and paste it into here. And we can go to fact checking aid and reduce the, the count because we, there is a, a minimum of a thousand words. So let's, let's cut this down just a little bit and then we can scan this and check the fact checking. So there is, you know, all sorts of different ways. I mean, I've never done this, nor do I have a fact checking website, but I mean, this is just the options you can do. It is an amazing tool. So definitely check it out to protect yourself. If you're looking for something that really, um, you know, helps you not get in trouble for plagiarism or if you are someone who wants to check to make sure no one is plagiarizing your stuff. And so I probably this is going to take a little bit. So let's come back in a moment. And after reading most of this, this is just kind of introduction. So there's really no fact checking to be had. Um, so that was a waste, but that is the I guess the ability to do that is there. And I think that is quite amazing. Um, if you actually uh, look at the results, it just, not, nothing was checked. So um, that's it guys. Until next time, remember to like and subscribe, smash the like button, ring that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one.